you have seen the previous video of the CC amplifier, it's very similar to the C, uh, CC amplifier. Just the connection is a bit different. Others are pretty similar. So first, what we do is uh, using the frequency regulator, that's connected to the voltmeter, like the previous one. Just connect it here, and accordingly you get value for one kilohertz frequency. You are you're supposed to get 0.1 volt. You're supposed to get. You switch it on, and then. Make sure it's 0.1 volt and the frequency is 1 kilohertz. Then, in case it's not 0.1 volt, you have to change the amplitude. amplitude. Okay. And make sure it's in like if it if it's not coming as 0.1 volt, make sure it's in 20 decibel. Yeah, 20 decibel. So you don't have to remember this in case. In case. Okay. Next, you switch this off and then do the connection. The connection is pretty simple. First, do the obvious. Connect the frequency regulator. Is you connect the source ACC to the positive to the ground. Here, next negative to ground. So the source is negative is not given here, but it's understood that the, the source is negative has to be ground. The connecting uh, RE. So uh, sorry, RC. Out, output here. Yeah. Connecting connect. RC. So RC, since it is not assigned here. See, the value of RE is assigned here, it's 5.6 kilo. So here it's not assigned, so you can assign any values. So here it's written as RC is 1 kilo ohm. So you connect this to 1 kilo ohm. Make sure you connect both the terminals. So now basically in circuit, what's happening is instead of coming like this, current is going like this, passing through the 1 kilo ohm resistor and coming like this. Okay, basically it's like it's like there is a 1 kilo ohm resistor here. Next, you connect the capacitor C, which is uh, 100 microfarad. But since there is no 100 microfarad in this uh, in this uh, setup, so you connect it to 10 microfarad. So what do you do in case there is 100 100 microfarad? In case there is 100, you connect it to 100 microfarad. So you connect both the terminals. And so again, same logic. The current won't go through this. The current will pass through 100 microfarad capacitor. And next, you. Uh, just like CC amplifier, you connect. See, here it's CC amplifier output. This is C amplifier output. For C amplifier, you connect it to C amplifier output to the voltmeter. Just like the previous one. Yeah. And you are measuring the output voltage. So, C output you have to connect it to the voltmeter. Okay. And the negative should always go to the ground. Next, the negative has to go to the ground. Okay. Just a word of caution, all these ports are grounds. Ground. You can connect any ground, to, like it doesn't matter where you connect. Yeah. All these are grounds. Well, switch it on and then uh, start from 100 frequency and then take, take down the uh, voltage, up to voltage. So, first you take in range of 100 and till 1k, then you take in the range of 1000. So, then you get 10k, then 10,000. Then 100,000. So you go till 1 uh, mega ohm. So that is 1000 kilo ohms. Yeah, 1000 kilo ohms. So uh, 1000 kilo hertz, sorry. Uh, kilo hertz, sorry. Yeah. So you take the output voltage uh, by changing the frequency like this, this way. You get the output voltage. Then uh, AV gain will be V output by V input. Input we already set it to 0.1 volt uh, before it was here. So you divide V0 by V in, that is V1, so you get gain. So in the graph, it's similar to CC amplifier, in the graph, you take uh, the gain in the Y axis and the frequency in the X axis. So AV max, you'll get here the maximum value of AV. From the graph, you can uh, extrapolate it to here and you'll get AV max, a certain value you'll get. Then you do AV max by root 2. So you'll get a value here. Then you join a line, and then it it uh, intersects the curve at two points. You draw a line like this. You get the frequency. This is lower frequency. This is higher frequency. So bandwidth, you just have to uh, take the difference of FH minus FL. So hmm. you get so the you take this here and yeah, see what the value is here. Yeah. And here this value. So yeah, that's the experiment. That's the experiment. And so just take down the. 
bandwidth bandwidth so if fetch manager fill and subtract it you will get the bandwidth that's all just to like repeat it once again the only changes between cc and c is that the circuit diagram is a little different you have to like uh, i have the circuit diagram the other change is the input voltage is 0.1 volt for ce amplifier and it's 1 volt for cc amplifier so because the input voltage is 0.1 your gain will be like 10 times this right because it's we output we output by 0.1 but if you see cc amplifier right it is we output divided by 1 so both gain and uh, output voltage will be same so okay, that's the two main difference between cc and ca